Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the Transformers the movie so this is the Studio Series 86 Frenzy Decepticon red in brackets so in this video we're going to open him up in a second have a look at the entire contents of the packaging we'll have a quick look at him in I suppose he's got three modes if you include all the plungers with him as well we can see how he looks and compares to his other as I say, friend Rumble, as he was called in this. We can then look and see how he compares to a few of the other cassettes that have been released in the Kingdom toy lines. Uh, then, of course, we've got loads of other different versions of Frenzies, of Rumbles, Originals, newer ones, etc. Just as many as I can, I suppose, fit on the screen to do some comparisons with you and, and to give you an idea, I suppose, of the scale and size of it. So, as I start to pop all these away, I don't mind anybody who's not subscribed to the channel. If you'd like to hit that subscribe button for me now, please. And also to thank In Demand Toys in the UK because they finally managed to get some in. And in doing so, they've obviously made me very happy. Um, it was one obviously piece per customer but i only had one on pre-order for ages anyway so the packaging we've got him there with his pile drivers out now i know there's loads of controversy over to what color he is and what his name is but because i'm just going to go by what it says on the box right uh, and as i say this is a core class figure um and to be honest um i tend to go by the cartoon in honest in more more so than the actual comics anyway now it is a as i say strange as in the comics and even in the original packaging uh this particular colour scheme was known as Rumble, but for me, he's always been frenzy. Right, that's, you can see how he's packaged. He comes up with that little scene that first we crack the shell, then we crack the nuts inside. I need to set him free from there and we can have a proper look at him. So there he is, set free from the packaging. It's time for some first impressions. And as you'd expect, and if you've already got uh, Rumble, this guy isn't any different apart from the colour scheme. But what I do have to say is, considering how sort of basic they are, they are still a load of fun. The detail on them is really, really good. Uh, there is a bit of articulation. You can see even on the head of this small, there is ball and sockets in the shoulders. They'll go all the way around. The fists will fold in, but mainly only for transformation purposes. Unfortunately, this part here, the elbow doesn't move at all there isn't a waist swivel but you can see the legs will kick out to the side and to the front and then you can call this a tilt maybe it is mainly for transformation purposes but as you can see it does move slightly forward so with regards i think to you know some of the other versions um of him i haven't brought out the kingdom one i put it somewhere i've already mislaid it but this is the massive difference between this and the kingdom cassette so you see how the kingdom cassettes had the ball and socket in the elbow these ones are a little bit taller but they do still fit inside the chest um, of Soundwave. I've got the Netflix one there Ooh, knocking everything over ready to I suppose just sort of prove that in a second. Um, let's have a look at him with his accessories then. So I hope we get this all done in one take because it should just flow nice and simple. So we can pop these little blasters on his back. I'm going to put the um, pile drivers on his hands as well now the pile drivers on his hands what you need to do is you need to fold the fists in like so once you've folded them in then obviously this is the shape that is going to fit into the pile driver so you've got that cut out there so then it's this should slot straight in rotate that around now these do they move up and down I thought they did. Oh, you can just extend them out, to be fair. So you can pull them down a little bit, which you've just seen. Um, and again, it's up to you how you sort of want to position it. I would imagine it'd be sort of slightly bending over with these. It looks a little bit out of proportion. Let's be honest now, we've done that. Right, let me drop down a little bit and zoom in a little bit more because of how small this guy actually is. Right, there he is. Uh, this is him next to Rumble. So you can see that they are pretty much exactly the same, just the colour difference. In fact, they haven't even got a different head sculpt. No, they are exactly the same. They're identical. But that's him in his plunger mode. And as I say, you can loosen these off or take them down a little bit just to give it that appearance, I suppose, that they are moving up and down. If you didn't want the plunger mode, and I definitely won't be because obviously I'm having him as he is, as Frenzy. So what I'm going to be doing is folding it around taking these small blasters and i'm looking and i don't think these are going to go in his hands so where are they going to fit they should fit somewhere there we go there's a little tiny little hole on the back of the forearm so if i bring this around you can see there as i pop the fist back out of this he says trying to get it out oh wow 
I tell you what, these figures are no good for your nails and stuff. <laughs> right, there you go. Let's put that on there. This is exactly how I'm going to be displaying him. But before, I'm not going to end on this. Obviously, I'm going to show you um, him in his cassette mode. So there he is with regards to all that attached. I might as well just move everything out of the way. To be honest, let's bring in the G1 uh, version of the figure, even though this is classed as Rumble in G1. There he is. He's much, much bigger, which you can see right there. To be honest, I suppose to give you an idea of how big he is compared to some other figures. There's a Generation 1 mini bot. Um, let's bring in some other figures quickly while we're doing this. There is a core class figure, standard core class, which is out right now. There is a Dr. Wu Magnus. There is a Takara World Smallest Transformer. Here is a Magic Square Trailbreaker. There's an Iron Factory, Mirage or Sheen, and where's David gone? This is a New Age David. So all these are legend scale figures. For those of you who don't collect these and are wondering what they are, that's just to give you an idea of his size. So let's have a go at transforming him. Now you'd think it wouldn't be too difficult, so I'm kind of hoping that it isn't, to be honest. So let's turn the head around. Yeah, turn the head around, fold it in there. We're definitely going to need to fold the fists up i would imagine uh, the instructions are here by the way so they're just there's the either mode there which you can see there's how you attach the pile drivers and indeed there is the transformation so let's make sure that i get this right so it looks like these are going to fold up and sit on the top like so yep like that rotate these around tuck the feet in and then it looks like well, have i messed this up i think have I messed it up? Probably. There you go. Turn it around first. Fold it up. Make sure that the colours are lined up. That's better. And then just very quickly clip that into place there. So there you go. There is his cassette mode. It still works. It's still small. It still surprises me sometimes, you know, how they manage to condense them all so much. Now, let's make sure this works. I hope it does because I've said it does. And it is going to. There you go. So that is your Netflix sound wave. It will fit in. It sort of gets trapped a little. But let's be honest, I completely rushed that and it's not very straight. So you can see that if you did straighten everything up all neater, make sure everything was fully clipped in and it wasn't bowed, it would fit in that little bit easier. But once again, just to prove, in it goes. And I suppose it whets the appetite for what sort of sound wave figure we're going to get. Um, I believe we're going to get one in Legacy, according to all the listings. There you go. I shouldn't have done that. Quit while you're ahead. That's another English saying that perhaps I should have done. So I'm going to finally just take him back into his robot mode, uh, get him set up for how I'm going to be displaying him. And to be honest, I think that's pretty much it because... Uh, there's not much more to say about him. And as you can see, it's very basic. It's just exactly the same as the Rumble figure. You've got just a different colour. But of course, we need him. We also need the rest of the cassettes like this. They need updating, um, in, a, in my opinion. Um, and I know it doesn't stand for much, but I really wasn't a fan of the uh, Siege or Cy the Wolf Cybertron trilogy ones. I know I've got them, but that's just more for the fact that I'm a completionist. So I need to spin this up. See, that's wrong. Turn it around, take that down and then rotate that there. So that's, as I say, these are far better, even though they've lost their elbow articulation. Or maybe they can just do, I suppose, a combination of the three. I think, to be honest, I might put them behind him because I've always liked that look from the G1 look with these behind him. Um, there we go. There's not much more to say about this guy. There he is. It's just a shame he's so hard to get hold of at the moment. There is your Studio Series 86 Core Class Frenzy figure. Let me know what you think of him in the comments. And of course, guys, take care.